welcome to the session. In this session, we discuss the concept of HCF and LCM of polynomials. First, let's discuss the HCF of polynomials. By HCF, we mean highest common factor. So HCF of polynomials would be the highest common factor of the polynomials. Now, HCF, that is the highest common factor of two polynomials, is the polynomial of the highest degree and greatest numerical coefficient. which divides both the polynomials exactly. So, when we are given two polynomials and we are supposed to find the highest common factor or the HCF of the two polynomials, then the HCF of the two polynomials would be that polynomial which has the highest degree and the greatest numerical coefficient and it divides both the polynomials exactly. We can write the highest common factor that is HCF as GCF also which is the greatest common factor. So, the highest common factor and the greatest common factor is one and the same thing. Now, we discuss the HCF of monomials. We know that monomials are the polynomials having only one term. In finding the HCF, that is the highest common factor of monomials, we will follow certain steps. The first step would be find the HCF, that is the highest common factor of the numerical coefficients of all the given monomials. Then in the next step, we find the highest power of each of the variables common to all monomials. And we will not consider the variables which are not common. Then in the next step, we multiply the results of step 1 and step 2 and the product so obtained is the highest common factor or you can say the HCF of the given monomials. Let us now consider an example in which we have to find the HCF of the monomials 5x square y cube Get to the power 5, 
Then the x polynomial is 35 x to the power 10 y square z to the power 12 and consider the third monomial as 40 x to the power 4 y to the power 5 z to the power 5. So we have to find the HCF of the given three monomials. As in the first step, first we will find the HCF of the numerical coefficients of the given monomials. So in the first step, we will find HCF of the numerical coefficients which are 5, 35 and 40. Now let us find the HCF of these three numbers. 5 can be written as 5 multiplied by 1. 35 can be written as 5 multiplied by 7. And 40 can be written as 5 multiplied by 8 or you can say 2 raised to the power 3. Now as you can see that 5 is the number that divides all the three numbers exactly. So we can say that HCF of the three numbers 5, 35 and 40 is given by 5. In the next step we find the highest power of each of the variables common to all monomials. So in the next step First we have the highest power of the variable x common to all the three monomials would be x square. As you can see that x square is common to all the three monomials. Then the highest power of the variable y would be y square since it's common to all the three variables. Then the highest power of the variable z which is common to all the three variables is z to the power 5. Then in the next step, we multiply the results of the previous two steps. So, here we have 5 into x square into y square into z to the power 5. This is what we obtain after multiplying the results of the two previous steps. And so we can say that this is the highest common factor or you can say the HCF of the three monomials. So this is the answer. Next we shall discuss to find the HCF of polynomials which can be factorized. For this again we will follow certain steps. First of all we factorize the given polynomials then after this in the next step we find the HCF of the numerical coefficients then we find the set of common factors of the given polynomials then next we multiply the results of steps 2 and 3 and the product so obtained is the HCF of the 
बी गिवेन पॉलिनोम लेट एस नाउ कंसिडर एन एग्जाम्पल इन विच वी हैव टू फाइंड द एच सी एफ ऑफ द टू पॉलिनोम गिवन एज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सेवन एक्स प्लस सिक्स एंड एक्स क्यूब माइनस फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स एक्स तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू फैक्टराइज द गिवन पॉलिनोम सो कंसिडर द पॉलिनोम एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सेवन एक्स प्लस सिक्स ऑन स्प्लिटिंग द मिडिल टर्म वी गेट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स प्लस सिक्स एक्स प्लस सिक्स नाउ फर्दर फैक्टराइजिंग वी गेट एक्स इंटू एक्स प्लस वन दी होल प्लस सिक्स इंटू एक्स प्लस वन दी होल और दिस कुड बी रिटर्न एस एक्स प्लस वन दी होल इंटू एक्स प्लस सिक्स दी होल दैट इज द गिवन पॉलिनोम एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सेवन एक्स प्लस सिक्स इज फैक्टराइज एज एक्स प्लस वन दी होल इंटू x plus 60 whole. Let this be result one. Consider the second polynomial, which is x cube minus 5x square minus 6x. Let us now factorize this polynomial. X is common to all the three terms of this polynomial, so we take x common. So here we have x into x square minus 5x minus Six the whole. Now we can split the middle term of this polynomial. So this is equal to x into x square plus x minus six x minus six the whole. Now taking common, we get this is equal to x into x into x plus one the whole minus six into x plus 1 the whole so we get this is equal to x into x plus 1 the whole into x minus 60 the whole therefore the given polynomial x cube minus 5x square minus 6x is equal to x into x plus 1 the whole into x minus 60 the whole let this be result 2 Now, after we have factorized the two polynomials, we will find the set of common factors of the two polynomials. And as you can see, the x plus one is common to both the polynomials. That is, we have the common factor of the two polynomials. Is x plus one. Therefore, we can say that the HCF of the given two polynomials is x plus one. So this is how we find the HCF of the two polynomials, which can be factorized. Next, let's discuss the LCM of polynomials. By LCM, we mean the least common multiple. Now, the LCM of polynomials. Is the polynomial of the lowest degree and smallest numerical coefficient which is Exactly divisible 
by the given polynomials. Next we discuss how to find the LCM of monomials. For this, our first step is to find the LCM of the numerical coefficients of all the monomials then in the next step we find the common multiples of the variables we know that common multiples of the variables is the variable which is exactly divisible by each of the given variables then in the next step we multiply the results of steps 1 and 2 and the product so obtained would be the LCM of the monomials. Let us now consider an example in which we have to find the LCM of the monomials 5x square y cube z to the power 5 35x to the power 10 y square z to the power 12 and 40x to the power 4 y to the power 5 into z to the power 5. Now, in this case, the first step would be to find the LCM of the numerical coefficients of all the monomials. Now, in all the three given monomials, as you can see, that the numerical coefficients are 5, 35 and 40. So, first of all, we find the LCM of 5, 35 and 40 on finding the LCM of the numbers 5, 35 and 40 we get that its LCM would be equal to 5 into 7 into 8 which is equal to 280 now next we find the common multiples of the variables of the given monomials Now, as you can see, in all the three monomials, we have the variables x, y and z to the power of something. So, common multiple of x square, x to the power 10 and x to the power 4 would be equal to x to the power 10 such that it is exactly divisible by each of these then the common multiple of y cube y square and y to the power 5 would be equal to y to the power 5 as again, this would be exactly divisible by each of these. Then we have the common multiple of z to the power 5, z to the power 12 and z to the power 5 would be equal to z to the power of 12 since it would be exactly divisible by each of these. Then next we multiply the results obtained in these two steps. So we get 280 
into x to the power 10 into y to the power 5 into z to the power 12 and this is the LCM of the given monomials. So when we have to find the LCM of the monomials, we would follow these steps. Next we find the LCM of the polynomials which can be factorized. For this, we would follow certain steps. In the first step, we factorize the given polynomials. Then, in the next step, we find the common factors and the remaining factors of the polynomials and the product of the common factors and the remaining factors would be the LCM of the polynomials. Let us now consider the two polynomials x square plus 7x plus 6 and x cube minus 5x square minus 6x and we need to find the LCM of these two polynomials. First we need to factorize each of these polynomials which we have already done while finding the HCF. So x square plus 7x plus 6 can be written as x plus 6 the whole into x plus 1 the whole let this be result 3 then the other polynomial x cube minus 5x square minus 6x can be factorized as x into x plus 1 the whole into x minus 6 the whole let this be result 4. Now after we have factorized these polynomials, we will find out the common factors. So, the common factors of the two polynomials would be equal to x plus 1 so we write here x plus 1 and the remaining factors that is the factors which are not common of the two polynomials would be equal to x into x minus 60 whole into x plus 60 whole. So now the LCM of the given polynomials would be equal to the product of the common factors and the remaining factors. So this would be equal to x into x plus 1 the whole into x minus 6 the whole into x plus 6 the whole. So this is how we find the LCM of the given two polynomials. This completes the session. Hope you have understood how to find the LCM and HCF of the polynomials.